Now we get to the biggie, uh, the recurring tasks. This is where the functionality of Todoist has to be replicated in some way in Rome in order for it to be functional for me. I have a fair number of recurring tasks, things that happen daily, things that happen every week, bills that are due every month, birthdays that occur every year that I want to uh, make sure I don't forget, uh, and uh, maybe write a little note on Facebook about, uh, I guess I'm, I'm 41, so I'm, I'm an old man who is on Facebook doing stuff. The um, point here uh, of this is I have to have a way to collect and hold uh, those tasks. And, and here's how I do it. I have a page that I call, actually let's build them the other way. I have an annual tasks page. And I'm going to throw all these into the sidebar so you can see how I use them. So I will open that in the sidebar. And then I have a monthly task page. And we'll throw that into the sidebar as well. Um, go ahead and make them small for now so everything sticks over here. Uh, and I have a weekly tasks page that I'm going to throw into the sidebar so you can see it. And I realize my face is a little bit over things here. Sorry about that. Um, but I don't think it's going to have any major impact on you being able to see what's going on here. The, uh, and then uh, I have my what I call my daily list. And this was drawn from uh, the concept of the preparation here is drawn from uh, Rosie Campbell's YouTube video that I referenced in, in one of the tweets that I posted originally about this process. Uh, I would need to grab the link there and you can put that down in the description of the video. Uh, the idea here is that I have a template for uh, how I'm going to build out a day. This is the daily template uh, meditation, which usually gets clicked off, but, but sometimes I've got a kid who is uh, up bef before I am or something. It makes it a little tricky. I'm going to process my inbox. I'm going to plan the day. I've got a layer for that, reviewing my calendar, reviewing my next lists. Uh, I want to, you know, write a certain number of words on my novel. It actually has the title in my main uh, Rome account, but uh, no, I don't, sh I don't share that with everybody. Everybody's writing a novel, right? So we'll see what happens there. Uh, and then I have, and I borrowed this from that video from Rosie Campbell as well, though I think she mentioned another person that she uh, uh, borrowed it from in that. Uh, this uh, Daily Notes Retro, where I'm going to build out um, uh, you know, one week ago, one month ago, three months ago, this is one of those things that helps uh, you build on ideas and notes. I'll go back and see, oh, okay, well, I posted this idea a, a week ago, and yeah, I want to, you know, I want to build some more about that. So I'll, I'll bring it up and I'll start I'll make some more notes, uh, tag with the appropriate dates and so forth, so it can kind of gradually grow those concepts. And then over here, I have weekly, monthly, annual tasks. Once a week, at my daily review. Uh, or excuse me, my weekly review, that's the definition of that, I will build out the next several days uh, into this this page. So we'll say we have uh, tomorrow, we'll just start with tomorrow just for the sake of it. There is no April 31st, RJ, so let's start with May 1st, shall we? And May 2nd, and May 3rd. And what I would actually do here is build a whole week, but just for the sake of, of you know argument, we'll leave it at this. Uh, and with each of these, I'm not going to go to the pages and do this because I don't want to take the top note-taking area uh, and clutter it with the tasks. What I'm going to do instead is from this daily list page, which maybe we'll get back to. There we go. Uh, from this daily list page, we're going to indent, just like we did with the template, and copy our template here. So there's our template copied. We're going to paste it there. We're going to paste it indented under May 2nd, and we're going to paste it indented under May 3rd. And I'd do that for the whole week. And so as you can see, I, I mentioned in one of the other videos, it, says it takes a little time, but if it's part of your weekly review, it really isn't that, that complicated. It doesn't take that long. Here's where recurring tasks happen. I'll open up my, I guess I'll start with annual so you can see it. Okay, do I have any annual tasks from May that show up on the 1st and the 3rd? Oh, okay. So on the 1st, I'm supposed to file an annual review. <laughs> I don't know of what. I just made this up for the sake of these videos. So, okay, well, I'll make this copy here. I'll throw this in uh, here. So now I'm going to file the annual review. It's showing up here. And it looks, and so that's what I have on the 1st. 
uh, I'll, I'll gather the other that go. So monthly, on every first, I pay the health insurance, which is a bill. Um, I oil our shredder, um, and I check the monthly folder in my folder list. So since this is the first, I'll put those suckers on there. And it so happens that uh, the first is a Friday. So we'll open up Friday. Oh, this is a day on which I review finances. So we'll put that there um, and do that. Of course, I actually do this on Saturday, so it's always a Sunday first on my list. But this gives you the idea. Now, all five relevant uh, recurring tasks are there. Manual process? Yeah, it is manual. But I got to have my hands in them, and it makes it a little bit, uh, gives me a little bit of better perspective on what is actually coming up. When I go over to May 1st here, I now have a daily list reference. Uh, and under that daily list reference, I have my tasks. I didn't fill out the retro, uh, but I, here's how I would do that. I can do it here because that's the beauty of Rome Research. Um, I would go back and I would say, okay, well, what's one week before May 1st, April 24th? What's one week, month before May 1st would be April 1st? And what's three months before April or May 1st? Um, I'll go back. Oh, we're actually still in April, but I'm looking at May. So April, March, uh, February 1st. And I would go back and I would review. Now, this is a, I just made this thing, this uh, account for showing you this. There's nothing on any of those. But I would go back and review them and, you know, make maybe make a few notes here. Oops, well, not there. Maybe make a few notes uh, here uh, about uh, a note. Or maybe I would, you know, build a whole new thing. And maybe something would spark some new inspiration and I would do that. So I would do that for, I've done it for May 1st here. Um, I would do it for May 2nd. I would go through and say, okay, well, what do I have on Saturdays? Oh, I have my complete, my weekly review. Um, and I have my prepared next week's daily list pages. So those things would go on the May 2nd page here. The monthly tasks. Oh, I've got nothing on seconds or thirds, so I don't have to worry about that one. Monthly t uh, May, I don't have anything on May 3rd, so we're all good as far as, or May 2nd. So this is what May 2nd would look like. I would build out the retro here. Uh, and then May 3rd, uh, I would do the same here with that. May 3rd, okay, prepare for Memorial Day. Seems kind of odd, but Memorial Day was a big deal in the town I grew up in because we had the only national cemetery in the state of West Virginia. So... That's why I mentioned that. I'm not actually doing any major preparations. I would change this date. I have it tagged this way for the sake of not, uh, uh, because every uh, you know year, uh, well, I guess this is a 20th, but things don't necessarily show up exactly the same. I just leave it tagged like that so that I know what to do um, when the time comes. Um, I don't know why I put May in there, because I'm stupid. Cause May, uh, oh, it's because of the due date. I got it now. Uh, it doesn't matter. But uh, So I would then change that to May 20th. I'm so cruel to myself there. Why do I call myself stupid? Such a nice guy. Um, yeah, nice enough, I guess. So now I have a due date there, and that'll show up if you saw how I handle dates. Otherwise, uh, that actually means uh, that I would have a thing that on May 3rd, uh, I have brought it in here uh, as a way to make sure that I'm preparing. Um, I would probably then attach that as a start date or, or something. You know, it doesn't really, it doesn't have to be, you can do it however you want. It's the start date is this day. Um, and it can just stay here. Um, I, if I don't, you know, if I get it done and I get it checked off, awesome. Um, if, uh, but if, if I haven't done it, um, it's going to just lurk there until May 20th when it will once again show up in the daily list. Uh, so there, there's no, you know, I'm not going to lose it. That's the reason for tagging it that way. Uh, it's, it's not necessarily, uh, it's, you know, I, I'm, I'm designing it so it can be done on May 3rd. But if I happen to miss it, um, or if, uh, for whatever reason, I don't do it that day, I know it's not going to go past the due date without me having s laid eyes on it again. Um, that's just, uh, you know, one way of handling that. So, uh, and then, you know, my monthly tasks, anything for the thirds? No, I think we established that already. It's a Sunday, I don't have anything. So that's that page. I would just fill out the retro and be done. And so uh, this is the sort of thing that you can tell. Um, I, I, the whole video I've been doing now is still less than 10 minutes. This would take no time at all to build this out. And when you're done, these pages have in their daily list uh, uh, reference all of the, t the tasks that are of the recurring variety. 
the ones that you need to do. And, you know, I can, you could change the page name and not call it daily. Let's call it recurring. And things would show up. You know, you'd know exactly what you were dealing with. I know what I'm dealing with because I'm doing that. Um, interesting. I have a delivery of a new dresser. That's not real. I must have built that out when I was uh, building this page to show the demonstration. So the idea here is that the recurring tasks require a little bit of manual uh, structure. But if you build them this way and you space them out into those, you know, the ones that have a specific day of the week, the ones that have a specific day of the month, uh, the ones that have a specific uh, month of the year or day of a month of a year, happen once a year, um, this works out well. This also works just fine for things that happen quarterly. You would just attach them in the annual task and say, okay, end of March, March 30th or 31st, uh, you know, quarterly uh, review. Uh, and then you could just say, okay, we're going to do the same thing on June uh, 31st. Uh, we'll call that June 30th. Um, seems like a better thing. And we'll do the same thing on September 30th. And you just copy it to each one. So it's going to show up at the appropriate time. Uh, likewise, things that need to happen, you know, every other week. I'll tag them. I think I have one in here to show you. Um, it's not there. Well, maybe I don't. thought I built one that way. Um, but uh, I would just simply put something under it like... Um, uh, So that I knew not, so I would know not to drag it in. Um, wow, that's some tough fun typing. Uh, next, and I would put, uh, you know, the actual date here, May third or something, uh, so that I would know which, which which ones to drag in and which ones not to drag in. Uh, it's again a little manual, but it gives you some pretty good structure for how you can handle uh, something that would otherwise be possible. Uh, this is something that I hope will be useful for you. Um, it may be inspirational for you to try something else of your own. Uh, it's it's certainly working just fine for me. Uh, it's not uh, it's not cluttered uh, because I can filter and I can query things down, uh, and it gives me that ultimate power of being able to tie in directly to my notes, my ideas, my logs, uh, my CRM, which is built over here now too. Uh, everything is interwoven, and the tasks have context. Uh, if I need to know more about them, I just click through and, and see where they are and see what was going on around them. And they're not often some other program where the best I can do is cram stuff into comments or link them into another program. And I don't have to go to another program to write them. I stay right in my flow. So if this is useful to you, fantastic. Uh, and, uh, and I hope that it uh, is something that provides you uh, some value as you are figuring out if you can do task management in Rome.